guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 16 and 17 of I Got to One Parade. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 17, and hold on one second, because my stupid mouse is being dumb. And hold up, it's almost there. Alright, in three, two, one, go. Maybe because your sister wanted that at Cutsy World Fest that, you know, the, um, the high schoolers are all doing, the older <laughs> the idols. Yeah, it looks like Elsa. Oh, I know who they're exactly going to get for this. I mean, come on. It's kind of really obvious. Is it Hibiki and Alicia going to be the roles of the queens? <laughs> because fire and ice for those two. <laughs> Excuse me? She's like the only cute girl there. I mean, because it's nothing but cool girls. And what would you, what would you call the girls who have or red. Would you call them passion girls in a way? I mean, I, I really wouldn't because if we're going on like idol master terms, when I think of passion girls, I think of girls who like Yuzu, who are very fun, upbeat, and bubbly. When you think of uh, Mahiru or Maika, you are thinking of sexy idols. When you think of Hibiki, Alicia, well, no, when you think of Hibiki and Yuri, Yuri was her name, I believe? Um, anybody else who has that passion and that fire in them, you, you think of the more fiery idols in a way? Or just, I don't know, that's a, that's a really good question. Because with Aikatsu, they, they have the typical cute, poppy, you know, passion, cool, whatever idols, but they've never really gone in depth on, like, what predominantly is each girl, because it seems like there's only four. And that is cute. Um, pop or passion, cool and sexy for them because of reasons. So I think that could be their just their four because Aikatsu has one. Well, Aikatsu, the world of Idol Master has just three, and you know you're either this and this or you're this and this. So, yeah, yeah. so whatever, it's good. I like it. <laughs> Yuri, mm -hmm. or Yuri. Oh, 
course she is. I mean, come on. Also, three lions. That's easy. <laughs> Then why aren't you three in the play? The little fours. Yeah, same. I thought it would be almost like a ballroom type of address. Yeah, try again. Please. It's good, but it's just not what they're looking for. A little bit, at least, yeah. I'm going to keep it heat. It's okay, Rocky. It's just, I think what she needs to do is really go back and look at the story of it. Oh. Interesting.
so perfect. Why is it that all my favorite ones are the ones who have, like, this aura about them? Alicia, Hibiki. <laughs> Elsa, Himeg, Subasa, all, really the, all the girls of S S4, honestly. My best girl, Musiki. Like, ugh. I can't. Just that aura, you just like, ah. You're amazing with kids. <laughs> they are honestly working her to the bone. <laughs> She's so precious. Oh my god. Remember to take your time. Let it come to you. No! Oh, tomato. <laughs> Two sandwich. Mm the kids.
Let's see. You understood it perfectly, Rocky. Oh my god! Oh my god. Laura. <laughs> That was perfect. She looks like a cute little doll. Oh my god. <laughs> so adorable. I
See Mio and Aine like stop. You already know that they are a freaking couple, but you didn't have to do that to my heart. Like, oh my god. Freaking idiots. We knew for two seasons, technically maybe even one season, one whole dang season for the for our custom friends, that those two are a couple and that they are married. Like, oh my god, you didn't have to just shove it down my throat right there, but still it was nice to do. This was such a good episode. I think it was like Probably in my top five. It was really good for what it was. And I enjoyed it. And I'm glad that, you know, Rocky got, like, a really good time to do a play and everything. It was interesting and cute and adorable and different at the same time. I still love this ending. It's so good. I just, I dead ass want them to make a creditless, like, ending for this. Because, I mean, even though I have my new intro and outro and that won't be out until next week for everybody else. But, um... Honestly, this was just so freaking cute, and I really want it so bad just to have all my girls. I probably end up moving the pace a little quickly just to have it, but still, it was cute. It was such a good episode, and Rocky did such a good job. The dress is phenomenal and gorgeous and everything. I loved it. <laughs> it was good. One thing that I'm kind of hoping for the next episode, I'm missing Yurika. And Kaede, like, I, I've been wanting those two to be, like, appeared. Like, Yurika's already appeared in this show, but she really hasn't had a speaking role as much. So I'm kind of hoping she gets one in episode 17. This is everything I wanted in an episode. Everything that I wanted in an episode. Thank you, God. My aesthetic. The creepy, cool vibe. Oh, my God. Like, guys. Oh, my Gothic girls. My Gothic girls. And one. Well, you know, we still... Well, no, because Lily is there. I was about to say. We don't have Lily off of this, but Lily is there. Right? All my girls. All my girls. All my Gothic girls. Oh, my God. Yes, I. this is going to be the best freaking episode ever. Now, I just kind of wish they would do this with, like, all the sexy idols. Because, like, with Micah, um, Mizuki, the Girls of Darling Devil, and a couple of others. Because that would be so good. Like, oh my god. Oh my god, that girl. Like, I can't. Like, oh, uh, yes. Because as much as I love the cuteness and everything, my favorite is the creepiness factor of it. And, like, oh. Uh, so good as a girl who loves me some creepy cool things and horror and stuff like my aesthetic um so excited for this episode this is gonna be so freaking good and all my favorite idols are in this too i can't oh my god yes i really want samaria to like sing um oh my god her it's her first initial song where um in the end, like, she sings, she's singing in front of a mirror, and then at the end, like, the mirror just, like, bursts into, like, shatters or everything. If she sings that, I will just, I will rest in peace. Like, oh my god, that is her best. Any song that she really sang by herself is the best song, but that song is freaking fire. Like, oh my god, the first time I heard that, I was just like, oh! <laughs> like, it was everything that I needed at the time it's still cool today but go ahead and pause the video <laughs> I will see you guys in one second for episode 17 okay episode 17 in three two one go
Laura. Well, hopefully your sister calls you soon. Ain't that funny. Me, Safia, and Kaguya. Well, you know, bunny on the moon. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> That's my name, Neil. No, you're not dreaming. This is perfect. Oh my god. Mmm. Perfect. Everything that I needed in that episode. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. But then, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so are Saki and, yeah, Saki and Kaguya have to be the villains of this episode. And then the rest of the girls of the gothic aesthetic is coming to, like, fight them, or, you know, duel them, or, you know, battle them in, like, an uncuffed or something. Who knows? I mean, whatever it is, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be good, and I'm gonna love it so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, to finally have these two back in this show and as an episode that is dedicated to them, like, thank you. Because, oh my God, it has been a while. Since I've seen these girls, not really, not only with, like, talking, but then singing as well. Because, like, that was maybe, like, I, it, it was the end of I Cut Two Friends going on to I Cut Two on Parade. But it's nice. Because these two, oh my god. Thank <laughs> you. 
But it's a little weird how... Oh, never mind. There we go. You should be getting some too, though. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Remember the one episode, I think it's either from season, season three, season four of um, OG Akatsu when like everybody was turning into vampires and akai -chan didn't turn to a vampire, but like, yeah, oh my god, that was the best episode. Uh...
The power of gothic. <laughs> Help them! Oh my god! Where were you, Blinky? The power of snow and ice. Oh. Oh, it's so big! Oh my god, my baby! Of course! Yep, Rocky, you go on too. They are literally on the moon. <laughs> Wait, what? No, you're okay. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yeah, what can Rocky do?
from Zara. Oh. But you should be able to hop over it. Hmm? Yes, you do. You have the power of luck. Make it. There you go. Good. All well that ends well. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> of course.
was good. Yeah, I'm guessing, you know, it got from the title, like, any Star Wars, but took out Star and put Gothic. Interesting. <laughs> so that's why your sister calls you. Yeah. Of course. Because it would have ruined the surprise. <laughs> oh my, my, the opening. I love this opening. This ending so much. This was such... A good episode. This has to be my all-time favorite episode for I Got One Brain. Besides anything with Mahiru, because you know Mahiru is still one of my best girls. But the aesthetic was everything. Cause like my my love for Gothic and everything, and the horror and stuff. And it was so good. It was everything. I love the Masketeer approach to it. It was very different. I loved everything about it. There's really nothing bad about this episode. I loved everything. It was good. Oh my god. It was just so freaking adorable. Oh my god. Everything. Everything. <laughs> oh my god. It was interesting to find out. Yeah, it was a movie because ultimately I was thinking, I was like, yeah, this has to be a dream. Rocky is so dreamy. But then finding out, no, it was a movie production. Just wondering how me and I like, did everything for that. I mean, honestly, I still kind of wish that if this show does get a movie, it could be productions on anything. I would love to see some of these one-off episodes that do have a movie and such for it to be a full feature, a full feature length movie. It would be nice because I, as much as I love the regular, yes, let's do idle things and stuff, I love to see like other things where they're just the characters playing another role. I think that would have been so good if they could actually do that as a feature full length movie, but it's really up to them. No! <laughs> Freaking stop everything. Hold the F up. Are you serious? No. Freaking way. No, I have to see that for you again. Hold the heck up. I, I can't believe it. Like, you're literally having him in this episode. Yes, and he's with freaking a tiny child. Like, oh my god. Like, the shipping wars with these two. Like, every single time when they were around each other, the sexual chemistry between them, that chemistry. Oh my god. <laughs> the last time we saw these two together was the freaking, like, before I got to, like, ended before going in into stars and then before that it's the movie like it was the very first movie to see him in it because after that it was you know akari chan's turn and oh my god they're in here together oh my heart my shipping heart between these two because i love these two so freaking much they are freaking everything. They're such a good couple, even though they're not really a couple, but still, they have so much chemistry that, like, oh my god, by golly, they are a couple in my book, no matter what. I've said it for years, seeing these two together and going on Twitter and Tumblr and just saying, these two are a couple. <laughs> so many people were like, yes, and then other people were like, no. But yes, they are a couple, and oh my god, just to see these two interact together next week is going to be everything. This is like, you just took this next episode and like, not like, knocked it over like over a thousand. And you, oh my God, these episodes are just getting better and better. And I love that. But I am like, I'm wondering about Rocky's sister and the situation, like she's saying, why it's not ready yet. Does Rocky have to get her premium address for you to officially talk to her again? Who knows? But 
we ain't gonna know until then. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 16 and 17 of I Cut to One Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will hopefully see you guys officially either next, excuse me, next Sunday or next Monday for episode 18. But, yes, once again, I am so sorry that all these really 14 to 16 are late and you're finally getting 17 as well. Because 17 just came out yesterday, kind of really today. But, yeah. They were such good episodes. I'm glad I was able to finally be able to catch up with the show. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.